This is Twit. Our next question comes in from Calvin. Calvin has a pretty simple question. If my router doesn't feature built-in content filtering, like blocking certain sites or ads or trackers, etc., is there a way for me to filter out these things? So this is a great question because, yeah, there are some routers out there. Oh, I would say a lot of modern routers do have some sort of, um, you know, a, a parental control sort of, sort of situation. But there are some other options for doing filtering that don't involve uh, needing to have that software built into your router. And so I love this question because I think a lot of people uh, might have the opportunity to kind of play around with this. Um, one option that will be familiar to people who have listened to Ask the Tech Guys in the past and have listened to our shows since is Next DNS. Next DNS is a means of essentially adding a firewall, essentially, uh, to your router all just by changing the DNS uh, in your router. So NextDNS walks you through the process of needing of how to do this. Um, you can do it locally on devices. So you can set it up independently on an iPhone or an Android device, but you can also do it on uh, your computer itself. So you can do it on your you know Windows machine, your uh, your your Mac. The way that I like to do it is simply by doing a router change. That is is my way of taking care of it because it just means that every device that connects is going to be using this uh, to actually access the router or the, the internet. And what it does is it, we've talked before about how um, we kind of think of Get, going to websites the same way that you would think of scrolling through your phone, your contacts, finding the name of the person that you're trying to reach, tapping on them, and then being able to call them. But what the phone is actually doing is using the phone number, not the person's name to place that call. Same thing online. We are using a name like twit.tv, but in the background, it has a number that it's using to actually access the twit.tv site. Um, the phone book, the contacts app that takes my intent of looking at a name and turns it into the number that needs to be called, that's where Next DNS plays. It plays in that space. So when I dial by tapping on a name, when I go to a website, in order to do that lookup process, that process is filtered through Next DNS. And that gives it the ability to stop certain things from actually reaching you uh, because it can say, you know, the, these are the things that we're not going to dial <laughs> whenever we're trying to get to this specific site. Um, I want to recommend a couple or I want to mention rather a couple of other options. I will recommend one other, which is as Wizardling has reminded me. Um, yeah, I, I agree out of sync. I don't like that they call it a firewall because it's really not a firewall. Um, it is completely separate from what what it does in the background, which is DNS filtering. Um, probably the like, it is, I agree out of sync. It's a little bit kind of off. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to this before, uh, pie hole is another option. You, it, it depends on Calvin, how sort of techie you are, uh, but a pie hole is a, a program that you set up on your uh, Raspberry Pi, a little, little computer that you connect to your router. And it takes care of that uh, DNS filtering and it can do quite a bit. A pie hole is pretty powerful. Um, again, you are going to want to really know what you're doing because there are a lot of options. There are a lot of settings. There are a lot of toggles there. There's kind of a, a, a little bit of a setup process. They have sort of a simple way to do it and then a more complicated way to do it. But I have found in the past that it led to some friction when certain sites were just not loading um, or you know, the, the, occasionally apps would, would fail because they needed access to things. So 
it can be a little bit heavy handed and that's something to be aware of. Um, and then Wizardling is also recommending, and this is where I'm saying I'm not going to recommend this because I haven't used it, but it is another option, uh, a, a service called Control D, and that's available at controlD.com. I assume it's pronounced, well, I was going to say it's probably pronounced controlled. However, it doesn't seem to be that because there's a space between control and D. So yeah, okay, it is it is control D. Um, also a DNS uh, system, and it has quite a bit of um, customizability, uh, customization rather, <laughs> uh, also works on Windows, on Apple devices, on iOS, on Android, on Linux, on the router, uh, in the browser, etc, etc, etc. So if you don't like next DNS, control D might be an option for you. But all of these will work without needing to have that software built into the router. Um, so thank you, Calvin, for that question. That was a great question uh, that I think will be helpful to many people. If you enjoyed what you just saw, well, there's more of it. It's all over at twit.tv or just click in the description and you can get links to this very episode. 